If you see somebody in the throes of alcoholism, depths of a weed addiction, you know that there's a there's a chance for them. They might hit rock bottom and pull themselves out of it. And probably, it's probably some form of self-medication. You know, something happened to them or something that didn't turn out the way they wanted to. There's obviously genetic factors that come into it. You can't um, you can't blame everything on on childhood and and, all, and whatever the fuck uh, other external problems. There are definitely people who become victims of substance abuse. Uh, but there are, there are two things that are even more insidious than even hardcore heroin. Two things that are more insidious than hardcore heroin addiction, and that's gambling and sports. And I mean just sports, not sports gambling. I mean these two things separately, gambling and sports. If you see somebody who has a gambling problem, okay, you don't start gambling because you were raped or because you had a bad childhood or because a sibling died in a, in a spectacular way when you, were, when you were young and you witnessed it right in front of your eyes. The reason you start gambling, the reason is because they're straight up suicidal. Gambling is a self-destructive death wish. It's, it's literally like uh, when, when someone tells you that they gamble regularly or, or they, they're buying scratch tickets, that should have the same impact as watching somebody drive 110 miles an hour on the highway every day. That's like hardcore, reckless driving. People who gamble, I don't know if they have a low opinion of themselves, if they're just like, if they hate themselves or if they just are wired up, like wired up, like Russian, Ukrainian wired up to crave suicide, crave death, crave burning. I want to see burning in my life. I want the, I want everything surrounding me to be burnt ashes, apocalypse. That's what, it, that's what gambling is. Sports, the same jump up from hardcore heroin addiction is the people who are big into sports. The people who are, who talk about it at least once a day. I get you can have a team and you can root for your team and you can be excited when your team's about to win the big game. That's fine, whatever, I get it, okay? If you're the type of person who could look at a pitch and think to themselves, yeah, I often am saying things like, check out this video from 49ers game last night. And yeah, Kevin Garnett's dunks in today's game were sick. Man, that was a nice goal by Messi in today's soccer match. And I don't know, I don't think the sports are the cause. I think the sports are the symptoms. And I've been saying retard and dumb a lot. I've been calling people names. I've been saying that people have low IQs. Because really, I'm just starting to put things together for myself and realize how doomed most people are. And I don't mean that, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not saying I'm some kind of brilliant fucking scientist here, um, but I'm just uh, being awakened to the fact that the people around me are not worth their weight in fertilizer. And so I want people to realize that the inside of a true diehard, real deal sports fan's head, the inside of a major league, MLB, NFL watcher, a guy who subscribed to all the channels, the inside of his head looks like that. That's it right there. I used to work as a graphic designer at a sports marketing place. CEO was a real pull yourselves up by the bootstraps, hardworking businessman. They had a big problem. All of his employees would spend all fucking day on the computer playing fantasy football and like talking about it at lunch. Oh man, you see that dunk last night? That guy's a beast, dude. He was he was ripping down the lane. He flew over him. He was a beast. He's a beast. You see how ripped he is? You know what he would do to you in a fight? Do you know what he would do to you in a fight? He's ripped, man. Oh man, Kevin Garnett's a beast. Do you see him go to the hole? Kevin Garnett's a beast, dude. <coughs> dude, Federer's a fucking Hulk. He's a beast. Hulk, a maniac, beast. Can you imagine if he put his arms around you? He's a beast. He's a beast. Stone Cold Diesel beast. <sighs> Male cheerleaders. Can you imagine if he was fucking your girlfriend? I think about that every day when I go to work. Like, Fucking lift weights, do something yourself. If seeing muscles makes you want to suck someone's dick that bad. Go lift weights and you look in the mirror, you suck your own dick. Imagine if he was fucking your girlfriend, he would be a beast. Savage beast. Beast. Just watch gay porn. Just, if you like sports, cut to the chase. Watch gay porn. Think about big male buttocks and big male biceps hugging you. And going around your neck and getting fucked in the ass. 
Think about big cocks going in your ass. If you like sports, cut to the chase. Go get fucked in the ass. Go on Craigslist, post pictures of yourself and your dick. Say you're a bottom. You need a muscular top. I need a musk GL top for DDF discreet butt fucking. By the way, I like sports. Code word. I like sports. You know what that means. Wink, wink. Be a beast. Only beasts reply. Don't reply unless you're a beast. And then you can go get fucked in the ass. And you can suck dick if you like sports. And that's it. That's the simple answer to your problem. If you like sports so much that you need a social networking app to talk about it, to, to, and you're making tweets about sports all day, and you're talking about your favorite teams on Facebook and posting highlights and posting videos. Post, if you post a sports video on Facebook today, go on Craigslist, find somebody to fuck you in the ass, and you can suck their dick all you want, okay? And you get it out of my face. I don't want to see this shit. Fucking faggots, man. That's another word I try to use sparingly. But if you like sports, you're a fucking faggot. If you like sports, you're a faggot. Fuck you. If you love sports, you're a faggot.